Should I have come closer, Jay? No, it's just, just a whatever shot. Okay, so we're gonna appeal to different senses here. First we got wannabe on TV. Then we're gonna go to the fisherman with wanna catch a fish. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. We're not gonna see it at 60 miles an hour. Do you wanna catch a fish, sir? You probably can't hear me yet. I'll wait till he gets closer. We'll probably get the first one and make this quick. Wanna catch a fish? Hey! Hey! Wanna catch a fish? Wanna catch a fish? Wanna catch a fish? Wanna catch a fish? Oh boy, we got a double threat coming in here. Both sides, two from that side, one from this side. That's like a triple threat, double ways. I can hold the sign up like this, and then I can appeal to both senses at the same time here. Think about it, think about it. Hey, that guy's got a lot of stuff going on. He's probably gonna go to better spots and catch bigger fish. Come on, big rainbows, big rainbows. Think about it. Springfield spray foam, little ad for you guys there. Yo! Pull your van over to the side of the road. Just pull it over and I'll take you fishing. Oh, tough sell. He's gonna ease that vehicle to a stop and consider their option. I'm going to take you fishing. Wanna catch a fish? No? Ah, he threw his hands up in the air singing, oh, I'm driving a truck and I can't go fishing with you. Right now, this lake, they're not thinking about it, and neither is he. Are you slowing down? Nope. Would you like to catch a fish? No, he doesn't. We have a slowdown. Yes, this is so good. How you doing? You want to be on TV and catch a fish? I got no time right now. No time, none? Not even an itty bitty little bit? No. Come on, we'll just we'll just pull out right here and catch a fish. Sorry, got 20 no minutes, time. 10 minutes? Got no time. Five right minutes? Now. Thanks for stopping. Have a great day. Okay. That's what we call a nibble. And that tells us that we are so close, the vehicles are slowing down though. So I'm gonna grab a rod and I'm gonna start fishing off the bank here. Just to get myself in the zone, because this is torture and you wouldn't believe how hot it is in these rubber pants right now. Jeez! Gonna wade in a little bit here to cool off my my swalls. I don't know if you know what that means, but you can look it up online. I'm fishing now. This is good. There's suddenly less urgency to find the perfect co-host, but I will still find them. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Six casts in, and we are hooked up. That is just too sweet. And that guy could have caught this fish. He could have even just stopped on the bank. And I would have let him catch it from shore if he wanted to. Look how perfect that rainbow is. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see this is a, a big bait for a little fish like this. And he wasn't shy at all. Got the bait out. Gonna get this guy right back in the water. There he goes. Cool. This lake has way bigger rainbows, so we're in for a sweet little afternoon here, even if I have to fish offshore by myself. I'm not kidding you. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Right along the shore here, look at this rainbow. When you're looking for a fishing boat, you want a boat that's tough, stylish, and has incredible fishability. Whether you're fishing large bodies of water, small inland lakes, or rivers, Alumacraft builds a boat with you and your family in mind. Alumacraft, it's what fishing is all about. The, the, the real miracle was that he didn't do anything trout like, he just kind of like, oh, yeah, no, I'm a bass. There's a vehicle here, I don't know if you want to. Okay, they're yeah. really close. You're good, yeah. I hear a vehicle. This could be one of my only opportunities. Do you want to catch a fish? Are you kidding me? I just caught one. It's not even hard. This is a magical opportunity. I'll even talk nicely to you. This guy wants to catch a fish. Yes, he does. I've got an interesting proposition for you. I would like to take you fishing. You can just come out for a little bit, try and catch a fish. You haven't done that for such a long time. Well, you, you, you're probably a pro. I'm not kidding you. 
Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Hey, no time. You got 10 minutes, no. 20 minutes. No I bet he has time. Unless that man's going to deliver a baby, he has time to stop and catch a fish. Unbelievable. I'm gonna catch fish, hey, right here, right here. Come on, let's fish, let's fish. You're on? Yeah! We have a bite. Did you guys talk about that? Because she said no and you said yes and it was just, it happened so fast. That's what we do. She doesn't want to come. You sure you don't want to come? Come on, Jenna. What's your name? Michael. Michael, I'm Aaron. Aaron, I'm just eating some of the chicken wrap here. Bring the chicken. You don't want to bring it with? It's done like dinner. Michael, I love your, uh, your pumped up attitude. Quick, right on the spot. So, I'm going to just flip the trolling motor in. I've died and gone to heaven here today, guys. This is super. <laughs> I passed by this lake a number of times and wonder what wonder what was in here. Now I'm gonna hope to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Too good. How far out behind the boat do you like it to go? Uh, about a long cast. Okay. And, and if you don't get a really long cast, then go a little bit farther. Okay. See with the remote, I can control that front trolling motor. Okay, isn't that amazing, eh? <laughs> so you don't have to keep your foot on the pedal all the time. No. That is top shelf. Not yeah. only that, but it has a GPS system in it. So see how I'm pointed straight ahead? Yeah. I'm not correcting, but do you see how it's correcting? Yeah. It's yeah. correcting to keep me going straight ahead with, with, it's called autopilot. So if the wind was blowing us this way, it would keep pulling Is us that way. Is that an way. expensive package? It's only a couple hundred dollars and more than the, the, the regular. Yeah, like this would be about 14 or 1500 bucks and it would be like 1100 or something for the ones oh, that don't have it. Well, well, why wouldn't you go that way? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. That'll be enough. And just keep her down? Yeah, and just hold it down like that. So, get a feel for the action on your rod tip. Do you, can you feel the action? Yeah, it's very light. Yeah, but you can feel it. So yeah. you'll know that if you get a tick or something and you don't get a fish off it, it'll yeah. probably be weeds and then we'll have to reel it in, check okay, it yeah. rather than dragging that around. No problem. There's one. Oh, it just hit me and he's back. There he is. Perfect. Michael, you want to reel him in? Okay. You sure. should reel him in. Okay. I'm just trying to collect the line. Collect the line keep it tight. Drags. Oh, that's a nice fish. This I feel cheating here, guys. So. This is fine. This is totally legit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's what not. A, a, what a battle, eh? It's <laughs> great. Look at him go. Just, just pause when, when you hear the drag. Just pause and yeah. then lift up slowly. Lift up slowly with your whole rod, and then you can reel down. You know what I mean? And that's yeah. how you get kind of gain on it a bit there. I can even tighten that drag in with one that's click. Fine. There you go. I'm just gonna tighten it one click. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. Here it is. Okay, put your put your tip down if it looks like he's gonna get on the surface far from the boat. There, okay. I think we're good though. Okay, he's really ah, oh, he oh. broke. Sorry about that. That's not your fault. Hey, hey, don't worry about it. <laughs> he shucked it. <laughs> what an awesome fight! <laughs> yeah. Did you see it? Did you see how big it was? Yeah. It was a big, yeah, beautiful fish. Yeah, I saw him clear the water. Ah, why? Oh. Is that this monster? It could have been 25. Sometimes they just get away, you know? They're fighting for their life and we're fighting them for I fun. I could feel them shake the hook, you know? Yeah. I, I, I wasn't horsing them, was I? No, no, no. We're coming in. That was worth the price of admission. Gentlemen, the pleasure was all mine. Hey, thank you very much for, you. for joining us, Michael. It was a lot of fun. And uh, if you're ever passing this lake again, certainly keep an eye out. Maybe we'll be here again. You Hopefully. can come fishing again. Hopefully. Tough shell. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Jenna. Okay, I'm going to go back to fishing from the shore here. Catch all the fish myself if I have to. It's pretty bad when we go out in a boat, can't land a fish. I've got to try catching them from shore. Onshore wind here. Blowing good things to me. First cast. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. First cast. Ho ho! Unbelievable. I just took out Michael and we went all over the lake casting and trolling. I stepped back up and first cast. I've got an absolutely beautiful rainbow here. This is going to be about a, I don't know, maybe a 20 inch or 21 inch which is a, a Manitoba master angler here in this part of the world. That is just too uncanny. Michael is not gonna believe this. I wish this fish could have been his. This fish is just a little squirrely. I'm gonna run and get my net just to calm him down. Otherwise I may lose him. Okay. 
just tuck them in the net and then I don't have that chance of losing them. I might even do another jump yet. Come on, buddy. There we go. Got him. Perfect rainbow there. Such amazing colors. First cast back right along the shore here. Look at this rainbow. Perfect fish, so happy, so silver, so beautiful. And I'm just gonna set him free right away. Well, he's in good shape here. Oh, I wish we would've caught that with Michael, but that's awesome. We're gonna get back to finding another co-host and we're gonna catch some in the boat too here. We're filming a fishing show. So, yeah. We're going to see a fish? Yeah, what do you got? That's <laughs> the biggest pike I've ever seen. Uncut Angling is proudly partnered with Alumacraft Fishing Boats, Humminbird Electronics, Minn Kota Trolling Motors, Shimano Reels, G Loomis Rods, Jackal Lures, Plano Tackle Storage, Frayville Trusted Gear, and Power Pro Line. You getting this one? I could. Yeah, go for it. Oh. Wanna catch a fish? See what it says? It says, do you want to catch a fish? And no. Oh well. Brake lights! Those are brake lights! Here we go! Here we go! Ladies and gentlemen, we see a truck that has turned around. They're engaging with us. They potentially want to fish with us. There was a lot of people in the vehicle, which is a bit of a concern, but they want to catch a fish. He's going to take a turn. He's going to take a lap. We're going to have a second U-turn. Perfect. We're filming a fishing show. Fishing show? Yeah. There's you guys want to see a fish? Yeah, what do you got? All right, I'll show you guys a fish. Perfect. You guys want to see fish? That is a hog, man. That is a hog. Okay, that is an absolutely massive. What's your name? Kevin. Kevin just caught this huge pike. Get in here. Get in here, Kevin. <laughs> and you caught it in a net, unlike Winnipeg, you said? Yeah. Yeah? It's net. Absolutely massive. Look at the gut on that thing. Have you ever get seen a pike this big? Oh, yeah. Do it. yeah, get in here, guys. Yeah. This is on Lake Winnipeg? Yeah. yeah. That's the biggest <laughs> pike I've ever seen. The belly, yeah. like that's the biggest pike. I've seen a lot of pike, and that's uh, the biggest that's pike I've ever seen. Thanks for the pike show there, guys. Yeah, exactly. Cool, thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. Those guys didn't need to catch a fish because they already had an absolute giant. Wow, yeah, yes. Fishermen, they're commercial fishermen, but they're pumped on fishing. Super hardcore. Those guys are solid. That was awesome. That was a huge pike. Wow. Total fish heads, those guys. They said they were gonna tell someone down the road to come film with us too, so maybe they'll... Oh my goodness, first cast back at it again. Not a big one. I'm gonna miss these vehicles. I'm gonna miss these vehicles. I gotta get my sign up here. Wanna catch a fish? Think about it, think about it. Wanna catch a fish? Wanna catch a fish? Wanna catch a fish? Is that guy gonna slow down and you ball? I'm just gonna quickly pop this little guy off and then I'm gonna get to that next vehicle. Just a cute little shaker here. Easy, easy. I'm gonna miss this vehicle, I'm gonna miss this vehicle. Literally, I was releasing one as you drove up. You will catch fish. They don't believe me, these people. They've got no trust. We've got such an ideal situation here with just a light breeze now, which is making it really easy for me to bomb casts out there. All afternoon though, I've had an awesome wind that's just been gently on to shore here, which is just pushing the whole food chain into shore. You always wanna be fishing windblown, especially trout especially in the spring and the fall when water temperatures are ideal for them. They're not looking for deep water, they're just looking for where the wind's blowing, all the act activity, all the food chain. It's not like bass or pike or walleye, they're on very specific structure. With trout, they're cruising, so they're just following the whole food chain, which is usually dictated by the wind alone. You hear voices? Yeah, there's a boat right there. Huh. Oh yeah! It is a big fish. That's a big boil. That's ah, a big boil. This could be the trout we've been looking for all day. He's only got one of those hooks on him. It is so easy to lose them. Come on in, buddy. Come on in. Come on in. Oh, it's such a perfect fish. 
It's definitely good size. He's only got one hook. And my net is nowhere to be seen, so this is not going to be a very ideal situation. Okay, she's just about tired out. I got her! Oh, I lost her! Ah, I got her again. I beat her in the shallow water here, and that is an awesome trout. Those fish dimpling all over the surface, like I said, this shoreline here, I'm just gonna pop that hook out. An awesome wind that's just been gently on to shore here, really lightly in the corner of the mouth. I'll give you one last quick glimpse at him, and then I'm setting this beautiful rainbow go. Absolutely amazing colors, all muscle, all power. Got the sun setting here on a perfect day, and we're not done yet. There's actually a guy that's fishing on the lake coming down the shore here. We might even ask him if he wants to join us. We've had an interesting time today talking to total strangers, those commercial fishermen, sweet fishing dudes, total random strangers that don't even fish. And now maybe we can get this guy to jump in the boat with us because the traffic hole deal, it's been tough. I mean, that won't be the last time we try that, but it hasn't been super easy. How you doing? How are you guys doing? We're catching a couple. Yeah. Do you want to help us film the, uh, the rest of our show? We're filming a television show right now. What do you want me to do? Well, we'll hop in with you if you're if you're just you're showing a fly, right? Yeah. So I mean, if you come in my boat, I'm not gonna be able to keep your program going, but I could just hop in with you. Is that cool? Yeah. There's room for both of us. Yeah. <sighs> Even better. I don't have seats, so. That's fine. We're gonna get guided. Whoa! There's one. Are you kidding me? Oh, natural. You've got one right there. As he's pulling in to pick us up on our guided little evening jaunt here, he's got a nice one. Does it feel big? You can tell how big he is just by the, the bend on the rod. That rod is folded. You got a net? I don't have a net, but it looks like you do. What's your name? Dallas. Dallas, I'm Aaron. Aaron. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Welcome to Uncut Angling. He's bringing the heat to the show, apparently. As he's pulling into shore, he hooks a big one. Looks like it's pretty much ready to go in. Eh? I'm gonna take him right here, Dallas. Right there. Oh yeah. There. Here's <laughs> Dallas's beautiful rainbow. Just he, gorgeous. He's no stranger to these. He says he's been hammering them all day. We're just gonna set it in the water here. And away let him go. Cool, buddy. Nice work. Okay, so you're fine with us hopping in here. You sure. Can take us out for a trout or two. Yeah. Looks like we got a little bit of sun left. I'm gonna get the measurements on this bad boy because this thing is freaking huge! Look at that walleye! <laughs> Uncut Angling is proudly partnered with Alumacraft Fishing Boats, Humminbird Electronics, Minkota Trolling Motors, Shimano Reels, G Loomis Rods, Jackal Lures, Plano Tackle Storage, Frayville Trusted Gear, and Power Pro Line. It is cold out here. This is day one in walleye camp and it is freaking freezing. Our leeches froze out this morning. Some of the other humans that are fishing around here said that uh, that's what all the big walleyes are biting on. So we picked up some dinky little leeches last night and they're frozen in a block of ice right now. But that's okay, because we got crankbaits. We're gonna shake up some big walleyes. Just came out of the main river channel here and we're gonna work right along that edge, probably in anywhere from 15 to 25 feet. See where the fish are hanging out. See if we can mess up a big one on a tail dancer, probably. I love tail dancers. Trolling is actually a pretty easy way to get on big fish. Once I got my favorite lure on, I'm just going to watch how much line I have out on my line counter. I'm going to watch how fast the boat's going, and I'm going to try the whole time to keep an eye on my fish finder screen to kind of extrapolate back to where my lure would be and how deep I'm fishing in to know where I'm getting bit. And then it's just a matter of recreating whatever you get success on. So I'm gonna start with about 100 feet back on this tail dancer in 20 feet of water, and I wanna be hammering bottom. If I'm not hammering bottom, I'm gonna keep letting line out, or else I'm gonna move it a little bit shallower and just kind of experiment from there till I get bit. I've kind of been essing between 18 and 22 feet here, and I haven't hit bottom at all yet. So I'm gonna let out about another 40 feet of line, so I'm back to 140 feet. And the whole time I'm fishing here, I'm just keeping an eye on how deep I am, how fast I'm going, watching my rod tip. If it's constantly going like this, I know my lure is working good, and I want it working good, so I know it hasn't picked any crap up, but I also wanted to do an odd little, like it's chugging against the bottom, because that's when I'm going to get bit when I'm right down in the zone there. 
I've even got the clicker on here. The ultimate lazy man fishing. Trolling with a clicker. There we go. 140 feet. If I hear any sort of a slip, I'm going to know I have a fish. Just got bumped there. Yeah, fish, fish. It's just wait. Yeah. Keep it in gear. It just bumped it once, which kind of jerked my head up to it, and it feels like it could be a decent fish. It never really pulled hard at the start there. Yeah, okay, it's heavy. I'm calling eight pounds plus right off the bat. This is definitely a heavy fish. I just dropped back my line to 140 feet on the clicker, trolling in 22 feet here, and I just wasn't getting down far enough. And then I was pretty much ticking the bottom the whole time. I'm right over top of her, I haven't seen her yet. Okay, there it is. There it is. Okay. That is a freaking monster walleye. <laughs> okay, huge, huge. I'm gonna get the measurements on this bad boy because this thing is freaking huge. Look at that walleye. <laughs> that is absolutely monstrous. Look at the belly. Oh, yes. Okay. You can see he's absolutely demolished this tail dancer here. Probably get it out with my hands. That wasn't too bad. Hog walleye! I don't want to keep him out of the wire long here, so I'm gonna quickly get a measurement. This fish is just under 33 inch. I'm gonna put him back in the net. Wow, that is a monstrous fish. Absolutely monstrous. Look at the back. Look at how big and wide it is across the back there. Oh. I'm so happy those leeches were frozen this morning. Okay, I think she's pretty much ready to go here. You go, girl. Yes! Yes! Great release! Yes! Awesome! Thank you, Clown Tail Dancer. Uncut Angling is proudly partnered with Alumacraft Fishing Boats, Humminbird Electronics, Minn Kota Trolling Motors, Shimano Reels, G-Loomis Rods, Power Pro Line, and Jackal Lures. 